Imagine being able to create interactive videos. I mean, you could stop the video and then you say to the person, what would you like to know next about this product or service? Just make your own choice. That's what I'm talking about today. Hey guys, it's Richard Butler and of course I'm back with another ethical review. But before we start, I want to make sure that you subscribe to the channel, that you like this video and you leave any comments below. Because today I'm talking about a really interesting piece of software which allows you to create interactive videos. You know, like that Netflix movie that was out a couple of years ago where you could actually decide the fate of the character. Well, now you can actually do this. So today I'm talking about video hosting, but I'm talking about interactive videos as well. So this is an AppSumo deal, which I have to say is pretty amazing. Now, before we go any further, make sure that you like the channel, like the video and leave any comments below. So video hosting. So you still need to use YouTube, right? Because, you know, you want to build your channel and this is where people come to find um, information about different products. You are here because, well, you want to find out about this particular product. But when you want to actually embed a video on your website, the problem is YouTube is not that great. And the reason being is that it's very hard to control what shows up at the end of the video. And well, you don't want to actually um, get ads coming up in the middle of your videos that will distract people from what you want them to do, which is watch your video. So if you want video hosting, you're going to have to go to Vimeo. And Vimeo charges... I think the cheapest plan is $90 maybe a year in and around. And really you can't use that for commercial purposes. You have to have uh, the next level up on their actual plan, which could be $150, $200 per year. So along comes this piece of software, Kiwio, which I have problems pronouncing. And this is an interactive video platform that raises engagements and conversions, or so they say. Now, this platform will host your videos. It will also allow you to put in call to action buttons. It will allow you to put up um, like a gate so that people have to actually enter their email in order to view the video. And depending if you go for the top tier plan with AppSumo, which is three codes, you will also have video funnel pages. Now, what a video funnel page is, is where the interactivity happens. So let me just log in. And this video is going to be strange because I'm going to put a link in the description to an interactive um, version of this video where you can decide what you want to see. So what I would do is I would actually say, so what do you want to know about this product? And then what's going to happen on the interactive version is you would go to that little section. There would be three buttons that come up, pricing, ease of use and overview. So let's go in and have a look at the overview of this particular product. So let me just log in here. And you see, I have a campaign here. So I've called this AppSumo Reviews. Now, on the three code version, you have unlimited videos that you can actually upload. And I believe it's 500 gigabytes a month of bandwidth. So that is pretty perfect. Now, if you want to do a simple video, you would upload a video and then you would go to edit video and you can put in the video player here. I can customize this with any colors that I want. So what you can do is you can just put in the actual hex colors here, and then I can put over the uh, opacity or opacity when I actually put over a call to action or some of the actual questions. I can take off the Kiwio logo or I can choose my own. So that's pretty good. So here what I can do is I can actually say at time frame, uh, two minutes in, I want the text book a meeting to come up. I just type in whatever I want here. And what will happen is the video will actually stop and then they will click on that and it will bring them to the actual link that you set, which is here. Now, here's the first little thing that I would like to see improved, to be able to move that button around. Because at the moment, it doesn't seem that you can actually move that button around. Now, let me just close that off. A lead collector allows you to actually put in and ask first name, last name, and the email address. So you can type in here, uh, please, dot, 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 and you will collect leads there. Now, another thing that I don't like so much is um, it says, to learn more about how Kuiyo manages your data, please visit our privacy policy. So 
Yes, because it's a European company, they have GDPR in there. And technically, they store the email leads until you download them, which is good that they're actually putting that in because it's good that they're um, acknowledging that they do that and that they're actually saving the leads. But I don't believe that they actually um, email out anything from your account so that they don't promote to your leads. But that's something that we can actually check. So I can do that or I can turn that off. And then this is where the power comes in to add questions. So here what I can do is I can add a question and then I can put in the answer and I can say specs. So this is the, the, the specifications of the particular piece of software. And then I can say video funnel. I can say go to the warm welcome review or the QEO video sample, or it can continue to the current video. Now, this is where some planning would have to be taken into place because what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make sure that you know what way things are branching. Now, I've talked to the um, owner and I've said to him, it'd be great if there was a visual approach to this, like the actual competitor has, that you can visually see where everything is branching out. But I could say I want this to go to the warm welcome review and then I can add a second answer. And then what that would do is that would go to another video that I have. So I save that. And then what I can do is I can share that video. So I can share it as a link and I just copy that link. I could embed it on my website or I could share it to Facebook, LinkedIn or YouTube. Now, when you share it to LinkedIn, Facebook or YouTube, you don't get the interactivity. So you get the interactivity on share a link and embed to website. I have found that this is really good, that you can just embed this, you can put in um, autoplay and you just embed that into the HTML of your website. So straight off the bat, if you only go for one code, you could actually use this to store the videos that you actually want on your website. If you have the three codes or upwards, you have unlimited videos that you could actually store here and embed on your website. And the player is very nice because, you know, as I said, you can customize the video player here. You can put on the logo, you can take off the logo, you can put in your own logo. So there's branding taken off. So this is really interesting. Now, as an AppSumo, we always look for the best deal. So three codes will cost you about $157, I think it is. Um, and that's a lifetime deal. Now, let's talk about who are the competitors. Well, I was looking at one which was Interactor, which was exactly like this that allowed you to have these different branching videos. But that came in at, I think it was a minimum of $67 per year. So in two and a half years, this will have paid for itself and you're getting, you know, the top deal that you get on limited videos, you get 500 gigabytes, etc. So to me, this seems like a really, really good deal. Okay, so now you want to know about the negatives, right? Well, what do I see? I see the interface is um, very, very clean, but a little bit basic because there were a couple of things, for example, uh, you may have noticed that when I went to actually ask for name on the opt-in form, it asked for name and last name. So first name and last name. Some people said that they didn't like that. So I don't know whether they're going to change that option. I think they said they would look at changing that option. So you could just ask for first name rather than first name and um, actually last name. For me, a visual planner would be really useful when you're doing those video funnels so that you can actually see which way everything goes when you're creating complex videos. That, they've told me, as I said, will be included. But definitely the pros of this are, well, you can control your videos a lot better rather than hosting on YouTube or paying Vimeo. Now, that doesn't mean that I would suddenly get rid of my YouTube channel because I want to put videos on YouTube so that people will actually uh, go there, they will find me through the YouTube algorithms, etc. But this I can see would be very useful for course creators, for example, or perhaps it could be um, an interactive uh, video for counselors or coaches, where what they could do is they could say, well, how are you feeling today? So I'm feeling a bit blue. And then it goes to a video that says, okay, so you're feeling a bit blue, but you know, why is that? Is it because X, Y, Z? And you could create very complex videos, I think, with this and very, very useful videos. Um, what about if you're a reviewer, like what I'm doing? Well, you can create interactive videos like I did. And if you want to see the interactive version of this video, just click on the link in the description and you'll see how it turned out. 
Now, I haven't done a lot of planning for that video, so hopefully it'll, it'll turn out well, okay? So in summary, I think this is a very useful piece of software on many levels. The first level being for video hosting. If you just want to host maybe 20, 30 videos uh, for $59, one code, it is definitely worth it. But what if you wanted to host more videos? Well, then get two codes. And if you want to use the actual video funnel, which is an amazing um, piece of technology, then what I would do is I would actually go for three codes. Now, I saw um, somebody actually released something like this in the internet marketing community, which it didn't look as good as this. It didn't work as well as this from what I saw. Um, this, this is smooth. This is clean. This, uh, the interface is just really nice. And actually, I never showed you the analytics. So let me just show you the analytics. If I just go over to here, what you can actually see is you can see the analytics for all of the videos here. 136 views. You can see the days that people viewed, the average view duration, which is really, really important. And yeah, it's basic, but it does everything that you need. You don't need any more um, statistics than that for now. They will be improving this. Again, I do see that they are going to improve on this and make it even better over the coming months. So I do think that this is worth getting. Um, there is a link in the description. If you're watching the interactive version of this video, you will see that a button will pop up in a second. And if you clicked on that button, well, you won't be watching this part of the video on the interactive because it would have opened up in another screen. But I really do think that for video hosting, for interactive videos, this really is something that you want to get. Now, if you have any questions about this software, you know I will always answer them. So leave your question in the actual comments. Do like this video, do subscribe, do share this. Um, whatever else you need to do, do it, okay? And I'll talk to you in my next video.